card number 21 card number 21 military intelligence don't tell me this is it can't be no it's too old military intelligence who is this this guy who is this guy it can't be from the Iran Contra this too early let's take a look at the text no it's not General Charles cable let's see if the text is the same let's see if the text is the same let's see if we can focus this thing come on So that's good. And is the same. You got the true nature and then Marina Oswald. The true nature of Marina Oswald. So that's the same. We got military intelligence breaking there. Let's see. A heavy military intelligence. So they reworded the sentence a little bit. Ends with Clay Shaw. This thing here, it says soon after certain defeat. Let's see if we can find that. Soon after certain defeat. Looks like the text is pretty much the same. FBI air. Yeah, so we'll read the original. Okay. Card number 21, military intelligence. Let's get this thing focused. General Charles Cable. General Charles Cable, whose brother Earl was the mayor of Dallas in 1963, was a former Air Force intelligence chief and CIA deputy director under Alan Dulles from 1953 to 1961. After meeting all night before the 1961 invasion of Cuba with E. Har Howard Hunt, David Phillips, and others, Campbell phoned President Kennedy at 4 a.m. to ask for U.S. air support for the Bay of Pigs landing. Kennedy's refusal meant sending their proxy army to certain death, defeat. Soon after the failed invasion, Kennedy fired Dulles and Cabal and threatened to, quote, splinter the CIA into a thousand pieces and scatter it to the winds, end quote. That's one of the most well-known quotes of Kennedy, by the way. my god how the world would look different if he did that let's continue with the reading cabal never forgave the president and criticized him publicly and often on one such occasion in 1962 he was introduced to the foreign policy association of new orleans by clay shaw a heavy military intelligence presence pervaded dallas on November 22, 1963, the morning that morning, FBI agent Jane Hosty met with an armed, unarmed Army intelligence officer, Secret Service agent Winston Lawson, who approved the motorcade route, was a member of Army Intelligence Reserves Air, Deputy Police Chief, and Air Officer George Lupkin rode in the motorcade's pilot car james w powell another air officer was stationed in front of the dallas school book depository and was present when the rifle was found on the sixth floor the local head of army intelligence was oil man jack trichton who recommended the first russian inter interpreter used by the soviet service 
in questioning Maria Oswald. The true nature of Lee Oswald's connection to military intelligence remains obscure because defense intelligence agency files on him were never shown to the Warren Commission and were later routinely, in quotes, destroyed. 